Hi, my name is Armin. Today I wanted to show you where you can access publicly available RNA-seq datasets and how you can link them to your own Galaxy Web Server instance. This is a follow-up video on my previous video, link in description below, where I gave a tutorial on an RNA-seq workflow with a Galaxy Web Server. In that video, however, I use my own RNA-seq datasets. So what if you don't have your own datasets? What if you don't have your own datasets? And what if you want to use publicly available datasets? Not to worry, there is a solution for this. So there are RNA-seq databases out there that you can use. These are the two that I mainly utilize. These are the Gene Expression Omnibus, and the European Nucleotide Archive. So for this video, I'd be mainly showing you how to access RNA datasets from the Gene Expression Omnibus, and then how to link those datasets into your own Galaxy Web Server instance. Without further ado, let's get started. What you have to do is to head on to the NCBI website, and then let's head on to the Geo database. So by just clicking Geo datasets here. And then let's say we're interested in RNA sequencing of breast cancer cells. Maybe we're interested in this cell in particular. Maybe we also want to add MCF7 cells. Then RNA seq, just to be sure. If we press search, it gives us these three uh, results with the keywords that we search for. So let's say let's look at this first output. So here we know that this data set was uploaded September 3, 2020. So it was that of a human breast cancer cell line treated with this drug. So expression profiling by high throughput sequencing or by RNA-seq and a summary of their experimental setup. So they measured changes in gene expression after treatment of breast cancer cells with this drug. So we have information about the author and his contact information. And here they have their data sets. <clears throat> In order for us to understand what uh, these data sets mean, we have to have a look at the series matrix file. So we need to download it. So this is the series matrix file. This file just gives us some imp important information about the different file types they uploaded on the database. So if we just expand this a little, we see, for example, that the first file, the one entitled DMS07 Days Replicate 1, it was uploaded in these days. Um, it was this cell line. It was treated with DMSO for seven days. It was either treated with DMSO or this drug, and then some treatment conditions, how they extracted the RNA, as well as the uh, necessary sequencing information that uh, they utilized. So let's say we, we already understand that we need this file in particular, this MDAMB453 DMSO 7 days replicate 1. So let's head on back to the GEO website. So that would be this file. So let's open it. Once we've opened it, we have to go on to this link. Let's click that. And the important uh, accession number that we need to copy would be this accession number. So let's just copy that. Copy. This accession number will be used in order for us to link this file into our Galaxy web server. Okay, so now we're here. Let's head on to get data, and the tool that we'll be using would be the faster download and extract reads in, in fast key format from NCBI SRA. So this file allows us to basically link that data set into our Galaxy um, instance. So it asks us for the SRR accession number, which we already copied. So we paste it here keep everything as default, and press execute. 
Now this will take time, so we'd have to wait for the um, file upload to finish. Our job just finished, and we see that there were four files produced. If you check the first file, pair and data, we see that it's empty, meaning that this RNAC dataset was probably not pair ended and most likely single ended. So if we click the single end data, we see that there's one file here, and if we click view, we see that the file is indeed here. It has a base pair length of 75 base pairs, among other things. So with that data, we can now proceed to our next steps in the RNA-seq workflow. So there we have it. That's it guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Bye-bye.